When the sun periodically becomes hyperactive and unsettled, its emissions can disturb Earth's magnetic field and upper atmosphere. These geomagnetic storms typically last from one to two days and can result in hazardous radiation exposure for astronauts, satellite electronics, and aviation flight crews, especially over Earth's poles. Geomagnetic disturbances can also damage and disrupt power transmission systems, degrade communications and navigation systems, hamper pipeline operations, and interfere with geologic exploration. Economists estimate that the adverse impact of space weather is $200 to $400 million per year, and the potential exists for significantly larger losses. The cost to U.S. government satellites alone is estimated over $100 million per year. For safety reasons, airlines often reroute flights away from polar routes during radiation and geomagnetic storms at a cost that can exceed $100,000 per flight. Economists also estimate that timely warnings of geomagnetic storms to the U.S. electric power industry could save approximately $150 million per year. With the launch of the next generation weather satellites, forecasters will have a greater wealth of information about the space environment and solar activity to improve forecasts. As our reliance on telecommunications, satellites, aviation, electronics, and power transmission increases, so does the need for continuous and improved monitoring of both the sun and the space environment around Earth. Today's GOES and polar orbiting satellites work together to alert forecasters and sensitive industries to potentially hazardous solar activity. Significant improvements in space weather instruments on board the next generation GOES-R satellites will improve warnings and space weather forecasts, helping forecasters alert sensitive industries and other interests of potentially hazardous solar events and geomagnetic storms. More reliable warning and alerts will help customers take protective measures to limit harm to the power grid, telecommunications, flight crews, astronauts, and spacecraft operations. Monitoring of the sun and space weather environment via GOES-R will be accomplished with a suite of instruments. These include an advanced solar imager for early detection of solar events, instruments sensitive to particles emitted during heightened solar activity, and an instrument for measuring the Earth's magnetic field, which is important for warnings of potentially hazardous geomagnetic storms. The GOES-R space weather mission has two components, one pointed at the sun and another to collect in situ data from geostationary orbit. GOES-R will carry the solar ultraviolet imager, SUVI, and the Extreme Ultraviolet and X-ray Irradiance Suite, EXIS, to help provide early warning of solar events. The SUVI will routinely image the full solar disk, while the EXIS provides measurements of X-ray and extreme ultraviolet energy fluxes associated with both normal and disturbed solar activity like solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and coronal holes. The second component includes both the Space Environment in Situ Suite, SICE, and a magnetometer. The SICE will measure a variety of energetic particles emitted by the sun, while the magnetometer will help forecasters assess Earth's magnetic field and its interactions with solar energy and Earth's atmosphere. These data will improve alerts and forecasts for geomagnetic storms. Space weather instruments will also provide data essential to the long-term monitoring of solar behavior and conditions in Earth's space environment.